So let's promote OfferVault products. And if you don't know what OfferVault is, it's it's a website that has various products that you could promote. Um, so just sign up for an account at OfferVault.com. Then just go ahead and find three products to begin promoting that are over $100. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Make sure that the products have some sort of niche. And um, let's just stick to OfferVault products for now. Uh, you could promote from JV Notify Pro. Um, but... At the moment, let's just stick to Offer Vault products for the course of the six weeks. And the reason why is because when you're promoting products on JV Notify Pro, things move so fast that you have to, uh, instead of doing week one, do this, week two, do this, week three, so on and so, so forth, you have to actually go day one, do this, day two, do this. So just over the course of the six weeks, let's just focus on Offer Vault products. Now let me show you how you can find three products to begin promoting that are over a hundred dollars. So let me make this a little bigger here. So um, yeah, this is OfferVault.com. It's free to sign up. So you just uh, sign up, and once you sign up, this is the page that you will be taken to and as you can see here you know there's 1000 frontier airline gift card um 250 of weight watchers health food there's a whole bunch of offers here that you could promote so how do you find the hundred dollar products it's simple you just go here you go to payout and when you click payout what it's going to give you is it's going to give you all the products that are on Offer Vault that offer top commission all the way to the very bottom. So right here, the Magic Bullet Seminar, if you were to promote this, it would pay out $1,500 per lead. And that's killer. That's the way you're going to start making money. Because the majority of the people, when they get started in internet marketing, they start promoting products that only pay out a dollar fifty um, per person or you know per sale and stuff. And um, if you could bring a lot of traffic in, then it's worth promoting stuff like that. But right now, we just want to focus on products that pay out at least a hundred dollars per sale because the thing is um you have to have a lot of viral traffic to make lots of money off of a dollar fifty commissions for example uh one thing that i do is i promote halloween costumes and um of course you know there's no sales in january february maybe i'll make a sale here and there but for the most part uh there's no traffic at all but um, come uh, August, I start getting some traffic. September, I start making some sales. And then by October, um, I'm bringing in thousands of people every day to my offers. And because of that, I start making a lot of Halloween costume sales. And the commissions are low. And, you know, I can make anywhere between like 4 or $5 per costume. Um, and, you know, because of that, I bring in a, a lot of money, but that's because it's a specific trend that people are looking for specific products that come and go. Um, if you could bring in traffic like that and then, uh, products that pay out real low are okay, but let's just stick to products that pay out bigger. Now with Magic Bullet Seminar... You may not, you probably won't get a lot of people signing up for a Magic Bullet seminar. But if you at least get one a month, I mean, that's $1,500 in your pocket. They pay out $1,500 per lead. And that's awesome. So more on OfferVault. We'll promote three niches in week one to see which ones convert the best. And if some of your niches or products you're promoting are duds, I mean, don't worry. This is just the, the testing out phase. We test niches before we actually start building sites and begin doing link wheels and all that fun stuff. 
this is what people call bum marketing and it's just a a bunch of articles um and just uh uh, getting traffic as quickly as you can to see what products convert the best for what keywords. So as as you can see, when you start searching on Offer Vault, you'll see that the majority of them are actually ran by CPA companies. And if you don't know what CPA is, it stands for Cost Per Action. And these companies, they run campaigns for different companies. Um, and what it is, a CPA is usually getting people to sign up for some sort of product. Um, it could be anywhere from just email capture to having them sign up for something that costs monthly or whatnot. Um, there's a whole bunch of CPA ca uh, campaigns when you do some research on it. Um, make sure that the CPA campaign is a long-term product because the problem is um, there's some CPAs where it's like play this video game for free or something and uh, they sign up and um, you get paid for every person that you get to sign up to play this video game. But the thing is CPA companies are constantly pulling products out of their list so make sure it's something long term because you don't want to do a whole bunch of um, um, building websites and link wheels and things like that for a product that just winds up getting pulled. That would be a lot of work just wasted. CPA companies have campaigns come and go all the time. So just make sure it's something that you could promote for long periods of time. So you ready to get started? To get accepted into CPA companies, make sure that you use a professional email address when you're applying. Don't go for something like uh, hotmom69 at gmail.com or something. <laughs> I mean, people do it all the time, and uh, you'll just automatically get declined. I, I guarantee you that. And also go out and get an 800 number for for your, your phone number. This makes you look way professional and it could be as low as $10 a month. If you go to grasshopper.com for an 800 number, um, you could get a really good deal and it's brought to you by HostGator. And if you've ever used HostGator, you know that they offer really good service and they have a really good solid product. And they're gonna ask to set up an interview with you and just when you're doing the interview, use words such as CTR, ROI. Um, CTR is click-through rate. ROI is uh, a return of investment. You Use words like that, and it really shows that you know what you're talking about, okay? And ask follow-up questions, too. Um, kind of have the mentality that you're interviewing them. Just kind of reverse the interview role. 